Welcome back to more Moto Madness compilation videos reacting by yours truly, Meeker Extreme. I'm here looking at Police Rested Biker for this. Nobody said the bike life would be easy. Episode number 105. Let's have a look and see what is going to occur. Looks like we're overseas in England probably. If I look at the houses and yeah, let's see what happens. Newcastle. Oh yeah, not looking, pulling out, and not that big of a deal. That was pretty calm, pretty tame. Yeah, just go. Yeah, okay. They turn on their blinger, they start to, but they didn't. Not a big deal. be filled with a hero too or something. It was at this moment that he knew. He <laughs> Some guy holding out something? That doesn't make him a cop. I mean, he does. that guy doesn't look like a cop. He's not in a marked car. He's not dressed. Uh, yeah, I would ignore that too. I don't know if I would share the video afterwards showing my crime if it is indeed a cop. At this point, he could just think it's like some crazy old dude. Let's see, does the guy follow? Now that would be scary. <laughs> If you're having a bad day at work, spare a thought for this delivery rider. Okay, this is in Chile. Got a dog. Typical poor country, let their dogs just run around. Could be a stray, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, it. The amount of dogs is just insane. Pretty fast dog. <laughs> or his motorcycle is really slow. It's a 150. Probably really slow. Makes you not want to ride. <laughs> a dog's just waiting like <laughs> Craig, you know, passing out in double yellows. Obviously they don't care. But somebody goes down. Texas. Oh, here he comes. Fucking go, you Hey, Cardo. What? Hey, Cardo. Audio. Hey, Cardo. Music off. 
Hold on. What? Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's like, okay, dude, calm down. While riding through an industrial zone, I hit a spot of oil on a left-hand curve and went down on a low side crash. Okay. Let's see this crash. You know, you were kind of running the, the red light, weren't you? Let's watch that again. It's red. Clearly red. Clearly red. And he goes into the intersection. Then it turned green. It happened to turn green. But he was just going to run it anyways. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess karma. Some people believe in karma. Hey, you went down. You were running cool. light. My airbag vest really saved me as I bounced off the curb. My helmet never touched the ground. That was so low speed. Well, you weren't going to die. Uh -uh. <laughs> what are you doing? Pick it up. He's like petting it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Slippery. When I stood the bike upright, I could feel the ground was slippery. I don't know what else I could have done differently. The road is very slick with oil. Blame me on the oil. I don't know. I kind of doubt the oil. I mean, he was running the red light anyways. Hey. Yeah, whatever. I don't feel sorry for him. <laughs> Clearly, it goes without saying, you should never attempt a stunt like this yourself. Hey, we're outside and we're all masked up. <laughs> oh my god. We're outside. We're a group of friends that get together and we're going to wear the diapers. Man, they playing this one out. Hammers, nails. They want a viral video. They want to go over the, the bridge arch. Musimy go wnieść, chłopaki. Guess they didn't plan on that part of it. She's just gonna like, man, I thought he was just gonna like try to continue like the U.S., you know, fleeing a looting, you know, cop already has a hold of you. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of charges. <laughs> Simply just stop him and be like, okay, I did something stupid for a viral video and, and call it a day. Yeah, you know, won't be as bad. So you didn't plan an exit. That was your problem. Why didn't you, you, you knew you needed a ramp to go up. Why didn't you have a ramp so you could have hopped those wires? So when you hopped off, you could have just hop right over and continued on. But no, no, you didn't do that. You literally planned the beginning, but didn't plan the end. 
Anyways, cool you went over the uh, bridge arch, but yeah, it's it's kind of stupid, really. <laughs> Take down by an oil spill on Route 118. Oh, another oil spill <laughs> in Thailand. Okay. Another oil spill. Couldn't see the oil, so I'll take his word for it. That's why it's not really a good idea to ride in the middle of the lane. Because cars drip stuff, fluids, various fluids, they have leaks. That's where they tend to drip from. <laughs> so that's why it's better to pick pick where a tire typically would be on a automobile, you know? Just saying. Biker states, all of a sudden, the handlebars were ripped out of my hands. The rear wheels spinned widely and I was sent sprawling across the asphalt surface. Luckily, there were no vehicles behind me or coming from the opposite direction. I checked, there was a spilled diesel line, line, which I hit at no more than 120 kilometers an hour. I am fine, not a single scratch on my body, let alone bone fractures. Minor damage to trousers and jacket while bike suffer some scratches at the lower side of uh, left pannier and unhinged rear view uh, mirror, which was easy to fix. Crash bars and two mirror mirror thick and an eyes aluminum pannier saved the bike from serious damage. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Good Samaritan. It is under understatement of the year when I say this has completely shattered my riding confidence. It happens. It can happen. Nothing you can do. Just maybe don't ride in the middle of a road. You never know. There'll be stuff there. Especially if you see dark areas, you know. Especially in poorer countries, you're going to have a lot more leaking ve uh, vehicles, you know, leaking various fluids. Yeah, you, you kind of want to stay to one side or the other. Well, that's it. So hopefully you all enjoyed my reaction to these videos, my analyzing, my critiquing of these videos. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you enjoy these. If you don't, also let me know. Although that's not going to change me really in making these videos because... I like doing them because I just like doing them. And anyways, you all take care. Stay well. Stay safe, my friends. And if you got those two wheels, get out there and ride. It's a lot of fun. Have a good one. Bye.